Hello YouTube, this is Salam. In today's video, I'm going to build a battery base for this grasshopper mower. I rebuilt the engine yesterday, and before I install it, I'm going to flush the fuel tank, I'm going to remove it, and I'm going to build this battery base. It's fixed to rain, so hopefully I have enough time to build this today. The previous owner, he built this base, and he had a battery installed here, and he was holding it by a ratchet strap because one of these bracket broke off, and he just used two ratchet straps to hold it in place. The original design, they have battery installed right here above the hydraulic tank. And this is very stupid engineering in my opinion because you have to remove the engine to access the battery. The original battery, it was still there, when I removed the engine, I removed it and throw it away. It was in bad shape. It's 20 years old. So I'm going to cut the metal and then I'll show you how I'm going to install this base. And this will allow me to install the battery easier inside. And this base that I'm going to build, it's going to protect the battery. Because this is a mower. It could uh, sling uh, wood or anything. And if the battery just set on a brackets like this, then anything this mower will throw at the battery, it will damage it. I hope you enjoyed this video. This over here is where the original battery was installed. Even if you tilt the seat, you won't be able to access it because there is a bracket right here. I'm going to leave this and not put anything here, and this will also help the circulation of the air. And I'm going to build the base outside just like the previous owner did. I have enough scrap metal to build this project. And good thing, this is already rusted, so I don't have to wait for it to get rusted. I will run the generator, and I'm going to cut it square and cut the pieces that I'm looking for out of this, out of this flat stock. And I'm going to use this piano hinge for the lid.
I finished welding this box and I grinded it. Before I weld the cover, I'm going to use these four holes to mount this to the machine. I put it a little bit higher than the bottom of this part, maybe by about half an inch. Now the only thing left is the lid. I am going to weld the piano hinge over here. And then I will wrap this all the way around and it will overlap the box. So when I open it and close it, it will seal it and if it rain water will not get inside. I'm also planning to have couple holes inside if there is any moisture or water built inside it so it has somewhere to drain. I finished building the box and now I'm going to build the bracket so when I install the battery I could keep it down so it won't bounce 
and the terminal will hit the cover. I have these brackets, this scrap metal. I'm going to cut this one and this one, and then I will weld it like an angle, and I'll have a hole. So when I install the battery, I could push this one all the way down against the battery and then tie this ball, the one that I'm going to put here. And I welded these quarter inch rods so this area will be uh, smooth when I install the cables and the wire. They won't be damaged. If I just use the edge of the sheet metal, this will damage them. And this sheet metal is 14 gauge. It's very strong box. Maybe about 10, 12 pounds. I installed this box and the fuel tank first and then I installed the engine. The way I installed this box, I use four bolts from this side and I put a flat washer and nut and then I put it on the frame and put another nut because there is a couple bolts over here. Uh, they hold the idler for the belts and now I'm ready to install the battery. I cut piece of rubber out of old hay baler. And I cut another piece and looped it like this. And I'm going to use this bolt. This has square at this portion and it will lock over here. And it's smooth from this side, so if somebody runs to it, they won't hurt themselves. I always like to install the positive side first, because if your wrench hit the box or the frame, especially on your car, it doesn't cause a spark. This battery box came out great. I was able to build it out of scrap metal I have. The only cost, it was the paint. 
and I made it universal. In the future, if I decide to scrap or sell this machine, I could remove it and install it on something else. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and thank you for your support, and I'll see you later. Take care.